From the salute to the dead, Five. to taps. <laughs> Emotions were high at Oak Hill Cemetery Monday afternoon. This evolved from the grief of families that they felt when they didn't have the person at the dinner table, the person on the farm, the person across the table. They never saw that person again. As veterans who have served in Vietnam, Afghanistan, and the Persian Gulf Wars gather to memorialize the brothers and sisters who have fallen before them. It's a tribute to all the warriors of all our wars. That's 1.3 million plus. The annual ceremony is organized by the American Legion Funkheiser Post number eight. And attendees were taken back in time with a recitation of the Gettysburg Address. We are met here on a great battlefield of that war. We have now come to dedicate a portion of it as the final resting place for those who gave their lives that this nation may live and a reading of the poem Soldier. The least we can do for the soldier is appreciate their service for this fabulous country. A group of veterans and motorcyclists are making stops at eight cemeteries throughout the tri-state to honor their fallen heroes here at Oak Hill Cemetery. They wanted to pay their respects to Clint, an Iraq war veteran. He was a great man, uh, great sergeant, great leader for a lot of us. Um, fortunately, the way that he passed wasn't ideally. When we lost him, it was very quick. Uh, but everything about him, I mean, he, he loved his guys. We loved him. One special veteran, this World War II Navy sailor, was the star of the show. About being able to serve your country. Well, to see a world and to meet different people. The 96-year-old who enlisted at only 17 years old in 1944 makes it his mission to attend the Oak Hill ceremony every Memorial Day, every year, for as long as he can. Glad we're still in to see it. Reporting in Evansville, Marissa Potwell, 44 News.